Hey, how you doing? My uh, morning hunt didn't prospect out too much. I did find a couple of trails, but no deer signs. So I'm going to slip over to this other place I'm familiar with a little bit. So here's a sample of uh, the road going out. This is off of Waits Run Road. It's uh, near Wilson Cove. Wilson Cove, uh, during the rifle season, you have to hunt only with uh, primitive weapons like black powder or bow and arrow. <clears throat> but this road was about 1.3 miles long when I came in this morning. It's one of the roads that they uh, rarely ever open up. It's like a fire road. But what it is, I think they have it opened up because it leads into two other trails. Um, Bucktail Trail, which will take me over to, uh, uh, let's see, I think it takes over near Trout Run Road. There's also another short trail called uh, German Wilson Trail. It was about uh, a mile. But that takes you, it kind of circles around really. It takes you over near where Wilson Cove starts on Waits Run Road. So this is uh, a little rough, not too bad though. It'll be rocky at some points. So I try to watch my tires. So let me pause this for a second. Put my seatbelt on. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember, my memory's failing. Many years ago, uh, maybe 8, 10, 12 years ago, I became familiar with some of the places down here in the Wardensville area. And this is one of them. I've been back here maybe three times. It takes you up, up over uh, North Mountain. I think they call it Great North Mountain. And over to the rear, there's a little view of what's over there. Over that way, that is Wilson's Cove. Uh, that's where Waits Run Road ends. Uh, Waits Run Road kind of sort of begins near uh, where the town of Wardensville is. Not too long, <clears throat> about three or four miles long, the, the road itself, the Waits Run Road is. This road is, like I say, 1.3 miles. But then it, you can walk another... Uh, Let's see, I walked almost all of it, a mile and a half, maybe two miles back. It's kind of like a fire road, but uh, a few hundred yards of it into it, past the gates, it uh, leads you into German Wilson Trail. And it also, uh, there's an old grown-up trail, which will... Well, no, I take that back. The Sherman Wilson Trail will cut over to where uh, Buck, no, Half Moon Trail is. I forget. I'd have to look at the map. But I thought I'd give you a sample of uh, this road. Bring you along with my hunting trip. <laughs> if I saw good prospects of uh, signs of deer, I would stay in one area. I don't know, maybe I should stay in one area anyway, but I've done that before and it's yielded nothing really unless just chance of luck Hold up for a second here Let's say it'll go over there a Little ravine coming down a lot of these mountains. That's all there are there uh, they're one mountain to another one ridge to another Some draws here and there I would never attempt this during the wet, rainy season. Yeah, a little rocky.
Like I say, I don't remember if I had Justin on this part of it or not. I think he was one time. But I think he more or less likes to do the farm hunts. Now, if I had a farm or I knew somebody, that's probably what I'd do. But I would work in some of this. I enjoy uh, looking for new trails, new roads, new fire roads that I can investigate, research a little bit. I'm surprised there's really not much wildlife that I've seen at all the whole time I've been down here. A few birds. Um, first opening day, it was a little warmer, and I saw a, f a few squirrels, but there's nothing moving here. I saw one set of deer tracks up here today, this morning, uh, but it followed the trail for a little bit and then went up over the mountain. The trails, the tracks did. So there's a bird. Yep. I'm no hunter by no means. I just like to get out and hunt and investigate and research new trails. My arthritis gives me a bit of a fit like it did this morning. So I really, I can't keep a steady fast pace up. So, but I can kind of go a thousand yards, stop, rest a few minutes, go some more. Or however many yards, I'm not really sure. But I enjoy doing this. I don't think Bev likes to get into this. I've invited her down a few times. But she didn't want to. There's the rear view there. through a mud hole there a little bit a little bit of rain um, past see, Tuesday and Wednesday so just a few mud holes not really bad at all hard to even tell that it rained it's been so dry here and I'm the only person back here since it rained According to the tracks here. We get a little side view up here. Most of these roads like this you have to walk back. Like I say, I think this one's open only because it leads to uh, to the other trails. The German Wilson Trail and I have to look again, I think it's the Bucktail Trail. Yeah, the Bucktail Trail. Because the Bucktail Trail, it, it's a, the gate on the right back here. Um, and the Wilson Trail is the one on the left. But the Bucktail Trail, it kind of goes down to the, and then it kind of goes to the right or left. And the Wilson Trail will connect with the bucktail trail and it comes out the bucktail trail comes out over on trout run road so if i would ever get lost or anybody would see this uh, that's where it comes out and for people living far away it's like okay what do i care <laughs> but anyways i just thought i'd show you this and see what the trails are like and what my ride is like back here this morning thought I'd show you this and see what it's like to go back through here but not many signs at all for here not like it was when I started first started hunting down here I don't know if people I don't think people are hunting as much I just think people are shooting deer whenever out of season personally But can't blame anybody if they live local. You gotta feed their family. But I try to abide by all the rules, the laws. A 
Okay, I think we're coming to the end almost. Certainly wouldn't want to run off the edge of this road or get a flat. A little rough there. It circles out around there and comes out on the extended uh, dirt portion of Walt or Waits Run Road. Well, there's the gate. The road's about ended. We'll get down here on the main road. Yeah, watch the rocks. I talk to myself here. Not sure if you talk to yourself, but I do sometimes. Someone's got to keep me straight. <laughs> Let's see how rocky it is up through there. Watch these rocks and the tires. Just careful you don't answer yourself. If you do, don't cuss at yourself, I guess. Oh, that's a little rough. Still a little rough getting out of here. This is the roughest part, I think. Yeah. And if you ever see that symbol, see that little eye? That's a symbol for a trail. I've seen them blue, green, reddish, orange. I don't know if the color makes any difference or not. Well, here's the uh, main road. If I go to the right, that's Wilson's Cove. I can't really hunt back there because I didn't bring my muzzle loader with me. It's back of the camper, locked up. So anyways, there's the main road. I'm going to watch up here. The map shows that there's a uh, trail in for Bucktail Trail down here somewhere. So I'm going to look for it. I'm just amazed at how these trails uh, connect to each other. I didn't realize that too much. I knew some of them did, but I was looking at that map back there, and I'll post it. Of course, I follow all the hunter safety regulations. You just can't be too safe. Uh, never walk with a loaded weapon on the road. Stay within off more than 25 yards off the road before you load your weapon. Never ever ride with a loaded weapon, of course. All that stuff. Crossing over fences or logs or stuff like that. If you can't go around it, you know, unload it. And especially if you're up in a tree stand, before you go up, make sure it's an unloaded weapon and use a rope to pull your gun up and load it when you get up there. So just got to be safe. You hear that, Justin? <laughs> got to be safe. I know you are. You've had a lot of people teach you. Your Uncle Eddie, especially. But uh, anything you do, anybody. Safety first. Think about it. <laughs>